Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome wholeheartedly the fireside chat with Mr. Zbigniew Jagiełło, the chairman of PKOBP. Welcome, sir. The topic of our talk today is how do the transformation and the cloud change PKOBP into one of the most modern banks? Over the last weeks, we had quite a market announcement in the world of finance, the sort of market, business-wise, but also a very human one. That is, the chairman Jagiełło published a book. Many of us knew the book would happen, the market was expecting it. Now we have the book, part of us from the world of finance have already read it, from the piggy savings bank to the cloud on the decade of PKOBP transformation. And my talk today with the chairman pertains more of the perspective of what happens after the book, that is, with the forward-going picture. But I should like to start with a question relating to the publication itself. Zbigniew, what particular premises and reasons wait on the success on PKOBP over the recent years as the leader of the Polish and Central Eastern European market? When asked about what he needed for victory, Napoleon Bonaparte would say he needed three things – money, money and more money. The success of PKOBP is also three things, people, people and people. We have managed to gather all the best managers of the Polish financial market and there are the effects. Well, yes, there's quite a lot on those people in the book, quite a lot of names. What is important for me, you're one of the few managers who describes that people, not only those who are together with you until today, but those who were with you for a couple of years, then they gone some other way, but you did appreciate their input, and that was a special thing. And I wanted to ask you now, why was it for you and the team managed by you successful in starting and running the transformation? I mean, why, as many large companies and organizations have thought on the organization of transformation, was it the strength of the team and the people? Were these the funds at your disposals? Well, you did have quite a significant budget for investments and development. Or were these perhaps some sixth sense of prediction for those 30 leaders that you're writing about, of prediction and modern leadership. So where is the key to success? I think the undervalued hero of the transformation of PKOBP are their competitors. We were lucky, I mean us, the employees of PKOBP and the managers, that in Poland there were and there are a number of good banks and we were lucky enough to have learned from them, competed against them and then overtaken them. And I think that is the important aspect that we could do it. And the two is those managers that are working or used to work here are a melting pot of people from different parts of the financial market of Poland and from abroad and those that I found there. And this melting pot created a company which was capable of catching up, overlapping and now is looking for its way forward as to what to go on. Okay, and now I should like to give a sharper question as there is. This piggy bank, which you started with in the beginning of the decade, that was 2009. Was it a wooden bank? And now in 2020 it's made of brick, as we know as the story goes for one of the kings of Poland. Are we not overly captivated by this stark rhetoric that the entry point for transformation was after all that somebody ahead of you did something? The word is sequences of presidents and chairmen, they would change quite rapidly. I would like you to relate to this wooden and brick made metaphor. Well, first of all, many people working ahead of me made a lot of good things for the bank. It's not to say that everything was bad, no. But many things that required rectification and improvement, something that was lacking is the spirit of cooperation. It is difficult since prominent managers that we have the occasion of working with are also the leaders, they are also the people with quite a significant ambition. The matter is, how do we organize the team for it to win? 
So that is one outlook we have, and the other is, I coined the statement here, that I found the bank in paper and I'll leave it in digital. And now, the grand example of this paper bank is the scene that Szymon Wałach told me about, that in 2010, when he came to work here, in his team there was a secretary found here in the bank, and she printed out the mail that came, she stamped it, and she put it into the paper file. Well, there's quite a something, well, you did quite a lot of those. I read this chapter on Szymon Majewski how you got him as a face, but I think Szymon Wałach is also one of those people. Well, Szymon Wałach is better than Majewski. Well, this is exactly why Szymon Majewski was with you only three years, and Szymon Wałach has been there until today. I had the pleasure of being on your panel a year ago at the European Financial Congress. You were querying us, that is, the representatives of the big tech, as to whether we had any plans of taking over the banking market, the financial services, do you still think after that discussion, after that year, that the GAFA or the GAFAM is the main competitor of future for banks? Or is it rather the fintechs? We obviously have the Revolut that everybody's been talking about or trying to talk about. We have the N26, we have Iron, a new bank also created by a group of Poles. Perhaps these will be the main rivals to compete with for new customers. A year ago I thought, today I am certain that GAFA are the main competitors for banks such as our PKO. These fintechs are either institutions which are biting at our heels or ones we could create an ecosystem with. Whereas GAFA are the predators. The predators only going and destroying the world as we have known it. Okay. Luckily, we are at the periphery, and before they reach us, perhaps they will have eaten their fill with other victims. Okay, but listening to one of your interviews, I understood that while speaking of this GAFA, of this big text, you related to the cloud and to the project, well, to the agreements that we signed last year, the two ones that you took out of those big techs that you had uh, good negotiations with and you made us enter a cooperation. Well, it's a different approach. If you can't win them, join them. We can't win against yourselves, against Microsoft, against Google, if we can merge and create something cool, because this national cloud well, perhaps it is undervalued right now as I'm looking at it. It will be one of the important foundations for the development of Poles and Poland over the next 10 years. We are today guests of Impact Finance, that is, we are being watched by the world of finance, the banksters, insurance, capital markets. You said in a couple of milliers you did have the slogan over the last couple of months, digitize or die and that did resound. I heard those opinions, Jagiełło was never so strong in his words before, so something is changing after this decade that you are becoming starker as to the future. Is this your catchphrase for the development of the financial services? Is this an advice for others? Are you saying digitize or be gone? I'm also repeating that inside of our organization. Even though we are one of the leaders of the process, I am deeply certain we're running too slow. We're running too slow, and I wanted to have it presented dramatically, that it is tremendously important. Mind you, I said that even before the pandemic came, the pandemic that showed us if you're not digitized, you may well die, that our life, our social life virtually stopped, business froze, and everybody who have the possibility of working remotely, doing the business remotely, are the winners. And what other technology companies have these indicators of price, profit? Well, great, and banks, that's eight, nine, ten. Well, we have taken the rebound now, and I'm looking at those technology giants, 30, 40, 50. So PKO BP would be worth hundreds of billions of Polish zloty. Too slow, too slow. Part of my colleagues, experts in technology and finance, are saying that this golden era of technology 
will come to an end, that we will be brought down to end, we will be taken down to regulations of the bank. I'm dreaming of that. that uh, revenues are lower for for the KNF, uh, for the competition office to, uh, to get down to yourselves here. Well, I wanted to tell you that around AI and those uh, regulations, these preparations are going on, the world did get down to it. We have to regulate AI. And I think after the recent reads, and perhaps some of you have watched those movies on social dilemmas and all those things, the dark side of the socials, I think all of those things could also come into play, allowing myself to venture forth and to show future in my own view. But there is one more thing I should like to ask you. Well, you did announce a number of strategies over the decade, and now I think that at some time you will be writing one more, or perhaps two or three strategies. What is there ahead of you? after the cloud, because the book says uh, from the banking piggy box to the cloud, well, the cloud is already here. You have an excellent team, a technology-oriented department, the Department of Strategy, the Department of Digital Transformation, they're working on the cloud, and the cloud in a year or two will be become implemented. So what happens next? Looking at the automotive, which I consider quite an interesting idea, or the cross-sell of the subsequent services that you can purchase tickets of urban transportation. These are all the services we're looking for. But when I thought of Chibo, which is my favorite benchmark reference when speaking of transformations, Chibo had hundreds of those products put in to build the margin that was dropping on the coffee thing. So what is going to be your idea for the subsequent strategy? The cloud is not the goal, it is a tool. It is the foundation of platformization of services. I'm hesitating, I wanted to say financial, but they're just services, services we want to render for our clients. Now we are rendering the financial services. That's 95% of our revenue. However, we are topping that up with subsequent services be it tickets, be it parkings, be it the auto market. Well, I'm not going to say any further, because we want to have them delivered to our customers. The more they have of those easily accessible services at the person they trust, the longer they're with us, the more we can earn. Well, we're chatting so nicely that I should like to ask you one more thing. Looking at the recent years and the development of my organization, of Microsoft, we did have part of the transformation when we opened up to our competitors. Microsoft opened up to Apple, to Google, we exchanged products, we started using their devices, they started using our software. If we were to delve deep into the future and fantasy, in this strategy, could we find anything such that in the network that you're going to maintain further at your cash desk or at your ICO, sometimes, I don't know, we can have feature a Santander or ING credit, well, God forbid. Well, th when they would want to, they would ask you for your sales networks. This is going to be good and effective. If they ask me, okay, I can agree. But frankly and openly, we've already done it as PKO. I mean, I mean, bleak. The thing is that the concept came from us. And I made a circle around the market to the presidents telling them, please accept those humble gifts. And contrary to the Polish, so to say, thinking that they would not take it, Actually, I visited six of them, and five of them accepted. Uh, the, uh, the one guy was not Polish, okay? Well, precisely. I should like to, well, going towards the end, slowly, talk a little bit more about people. Whilst reading the book, whilst talking to you for a couple of years, I have these observations that we speak a lot on leadership, on this modern leadership. You did write on those 30 managers, but you also mentioned those couple of hundred which revolved around you during the transformation. Can you see anything in this modern leadership? Since, I mean, I had this reflection, PKO did not hire in 2019 any expat or any ingenious manager to have come from the West where he was unbelievably successful. They simply took a super solid pioneer chairman and a very good financial understanding. Part of the banking people will say, well, you never managed a great bank, okay? 
So what was it that happened inside of you in your type of leadership? How did you develop over the decade that you managed to infect those 30 plus hundreds of people with your own goals? Over my whole life, I've been growing up as a person in my professional life as a manager. Because if I were to take a look at myself, and what I did in life, I always did the same thing, I, always, I only did it better. Because I started off understanding my workmates, my people, my teams, even though I did different things. And basically I'm an IT engineer by learning, which I never did. And I reached the point where everybody would say, where are those IT engineers? And I said, well, there I am, hello. So, from this outlook, but surely there is also this moment which we managed to catch in Poland that all of us, the Poles, we learned this modern finance in different ways. I was working in a US company and a Polish Swiss Italian and I would meet Poles and other people of other nationalities and these Polish people and the US Swiss companies and German companies Italian French companies they would grow up and suddenly at the point where I needed it this cohort of people after this under this white and red flag I managed to gather people who already had the experience in the modern organization and the same aspiration to show that we can do it because there is also this element stemming from the fact that if the central office is somewhere out there in Warsaw then people from Szczecin or Gdańsk from province will say well they make the decisions out there and here in Warsaw we did have our head office somewhere else and for quite obvious reasons they thought things needed to be this way or not that way. Sometimes they were right, sometimes not, but here all the decisions were taken here in Puławska 15th Street and all these successes were ours. Those people that we managed to find, suddenly they felt the strength. Well, this is all very interesting for me, what you're saying. But the point that you're mentioning, this profession that you learned well I have to share a reflection with yourselves as we were negotiating the cloud of Microsoft for Poland and I was the lead negotiator to convince our decision makers I remember I was already shooting out the rest of my business case arguments all the analytics all the market potential as to how much of the SaaS pass and the ass we had in this Polish market and at some point I say and there's one more argument why and the cloud guy goes, well, what, what is it? And I go, the only Central Eastern Europe chairman of a bank who's an IT guy. And I think that is the thing that I should like to conclude with. I wish you a yet another very successful decade. Once again, congratulations on your book and to yourselves a very nice event. Thank you.